Let's blend. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to another Beauty Blender hack video. Today we are going to see if the new Equal Tools sponge is compatible to the original Beauty Blender. This is 30 bucks. I think this is, runs about $10 at Walmart and Target and many drugstores that recently came out. And this was sent to me by Eco Tools, and I really wanted to test it. There's two different sizes. This one, tiny one, feels a little firmer than this bigger one, but we are gonna test it because it's literally a third of the price of this about. Just crazy. So this is what they look like before they are dunked into water. <laughs> I just wanted to show you so you can see the size difference. And we're just gonna let them chill in there, squeeze it, like really weird. Oh, they're making noises, how weird. Is this supposed to happen? I feel like I'm on Bill Nye the Science Guy. I feel so special. I would love to have been on that show. I think I'm gonna try the big Beauty Blender because now that they're wet, they both feel like the same texture. They both come in the same package. Should I try both of them? I'll try both of them for science. But I really wanna try this green one because it feels more like the Beauty Blender. Is it weird that my water's changing color? I feel like it's turning like Lemon Pepino Gatorade color, flavor of water. Does it, has anyone tried that Gatorade? Some people like it. I'm not a huge cucumber water person fan. Now let me squeeze all the water out now that I have talked your ear off. Urgh, this is testing my strength and I don't have a lot of strength. Look at that water though. Is that makes anyone else uneasy? Makes me uneasy. Whoa, look how big this one got and this one's still a little small. Maybe we should soak that a little more. This one, feels like the Beauty Blender. It feels very similar. This one feels a little bit Nerf Ball-ish, but I like the size, how it has this, this is my favorite part of the original Beauty Blender, to pounce on your face. And this is cool, that it has like edges. I like the shape of this more than any Beauty Blender dupe I've seen out there, so we will have to try it. The foundation I'm gonna be using today to test these Beauty Blenders and the dupes out is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. I use this a lot on my channel. And now it's time to crown the queen, put on the tiara. I'm not a queen. I'm not even a princess. I don't know what I am. I'm an alien mother. But we're gonna put that on just to get the hair out of the way so that I could try this out. Got my fancy little palette to, am I almost back? I hate when you are so cheap to buy like a new one and you have to go do this little dance with the actual like ratchet applicator. It's not even really how you take this foundation out, but you know, we are ratchet and cheap here on the set of Cat Sketch. We are just being bargain queens. Now, I'm gonna do one side with the Beauty Blender just to see how it lays on the skin, like a beautiful airbrushed finish. I know how this works, but I want you to see the compare and contrast of the differences. Oh god, I love this foundation so much. This foundation though doesn't look that great on older skin. I've noticed I have friends who are like in their 40s. Yes, I'm not that old, but I like having friends of all age, age, Asians. <laughs> I'm Asian, but all ages, sizes, and ethnicities. And I've noticed that this doesn't lay on their skin as well. And I have very dry skin. I forgot to prime my skin. Oh well, skip that. I did put moisturizer on. And I think I've been raving about this one by Kim Tai Ofra collaboration. It's wonderful. I had that on first. And I'm just gonna go in. But I have very dry skin from prosthetics, so this area might be a little odd. When we go up close, we will see. Need to get all the chins, don't forget that. And we need to I'm gonna do the bottom half with this because it's large and around the eye and top half with this Nerf ball weird feeling one. You get both of these, by the way, for 10 bucks, I'm pretty sure. If they're not in store, check online because I'm sure a lot of people will be buying them because Equal Tools is a wonderful brand and I'm so excited about this because I've been wearing Eco Tools, wearing Eco Tools, using Eco Tool brushes since the beginning of time when history of makeup first started on my face. When I started wearing concealer and weird bits on my face in middle school, I used probably Eco Tools to put my terrible brown liner that looked like poo on my literal eyes with Eco Tools. 
and it just brings back so many memories even though they just rebranded themselves practically and redid the brushes that are so amazing I need to do a whole drugstore I'm gonna use this now makeup look let me know if you want to see that and I want to use eco tool brushes and use all drugstore products on my face because we need some more affordable makeup looks I feel like on my channel because I do extreme crazy effects makeup beauty makeup with anything I want on my face that's not just drugstore and I need to give you what the people want which I'm sure is drugstore looks because who doesn't want affordable makeup on their face? I think the last time I did a whole drugstore look, it was over a year ago. I can't believe this one is, I thought this one wasn't gonna perform well as this, but I could see why they made two different sizes because this is good for like right here. And it's so wonderful. I could barely tell the difference. This might go on a little thicker than this one's more natural, but I do like how this looks. If you're more into a full coverage, I can't believe it, but this is amazing. These things are awesome. I don't know how they wear throughout the day. I can't really test that for you right now, but I can tell you right now. Ba da ba ba ba, cats loving it. It even like hides some of my acne. I got little like irritation bumps. I don't know if they're acne right here. Right where I put my highlighter, which is annoying and that always irritates me. Let's take out the tiara that keeps getting stuck in my head. But that is my Beauty Blender Hacks video using the Equal Tool sponges. This might even surpass my Real Technique sponges, which is crazy because I love those, but they do fall apart more than the Beauty Blenders. We'll see. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? I've already got a little hole in this. What? You perform so well. Did I like stab it? I don't remember stabbing it. <laughs> Why am I doing this? I'm stressed out. I hope these don't fall apart on me because I love them. And I just noticed. This side is more slanted downwards more than this side, and I love this tapered edge. That doesn't come to an exact point, but it's so cool. I hope these work out in the long run. We'll see how they last. I will update you on my Snapchat. I'm also on Twitter and Facebook, little self-promo. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. Again, I love how this laid. The Eco Tools is a little bit more, not caked, but full coverage than I feel like the Beauty Blender side. Let me know what you think. Let me know any other beauty blender hacks or dupes to beauty blenders that you would love to see me try on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you'd love to see more videos like this. I'll do more makeup effects, huge videos, and some beauty makeups. I need to do some sit down, chit chat, get ready with me type things. So we become friends and you can join our fellow creators. We are all like weird little aliens and we like to make each other laugh and be creative and unique. I hope you guys join and I love you all. See you soon, bye. Ow. Oh, that's attacking me, no. I'm fine. Hey guys. Also, does anyone know about water people in Missouri? I think it's real. It might be a rumor. It might have started on Reddit. I don't know where, but I think it's real. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to a new Mimney. <laughs> when we go up close, we will see. Did I just spit? What was that? Hmm.